Hi, my name is Rodney Urand and I'm from OTS Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize widgets in WordPress. So what are widgets? Widgets are independent sections of content that give your website more functionality. Widgets can be utilized in two areas of the default TU faculty staff theme, the sidebar and the footer. By default, every faculty and staff member have two widgets activated on their site. Subscribe by email and contact. Let's edit these active widgets together. First, you'll navigate to your dashboard and hover over appearance. You'll click widgets and here you'll find a list of available widgets on the left and your widgetized areas on the right. To view your active widgets, click the down arrow next to the widgetized areas. The subscribe by email widget and a text widget should appear. Click the down arrow next to subscribe by email to view more options and features. Right now the title is subscribe by email. I'm going to change mine to subscribe for WordPress news and click save. The next widget is in our footer, the text widget. We suggest using this area for contact information, but you could put anything you like within this text box. I'm going to type in my name and email so visitors of my site can contact me if they have questions, and then I'll click save. Now that we've personalized our widgets, we can check them out on our site. You'll see there's a little too much white space in my sidebar, so let's go ahead and add another widget. Head back to your dashboard and navigate to widgets one more time. Recent posts is a great widget that showcases your newest posts on all of your pages, allowing users to stay updated without going to the announcements page. I'm going to put this widget in my sidebar. In order to do this, I'm going to click and drag the recent posts widget to my sidebar. I want my recent post to be the first thing on the sidebar of my site, so I am going to reorder my widgets. Now to do that, just click and drag the widgets above or below one another. You can also drag widgets between widgetized areas. Now that we've added another widget, let's edit it. I'm going to change the title to Recent Updates and choose to display Post Date and then click Save. And here's our finished site. We recommend you try out different widgets to find ones that showcase your website's unique features. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us at towson.edu/otstraining.